Obviously, so you can think of these as uh, any of you preppers out there. This is your bug out bag. Bug out bag. When crap hits a fan and you gotta go, grab this bag and go. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Good Enough Dads. I'm Caleb. And I'm Mike. And this week's episode is going to be about diaper bags. Diaper bags. All right, so what we have right here is pretty much everything that we need to go out with our babies. You pretty got it. I have a backpack style diaper bag. And mine is an over the shoulder, you know, like mouth, like a, a satchel. No, oh, man purse. Man purse. A purse, as some people would call them. Yeah. Now we got this one off Amazon. Uh, we'll have a link in the description below. I like the backpack style just because it's easy to, uh, you know, just grab and go. I can put it on my back. I have access to two, both my hands and I don't have to worry about like the bag slipping on my shoulder or anything like that. Uh, I also like it because it says she needs a burp cloth, which I have in the side pocket. I just pretty much just turn around and she can grab anything she wants. Ready to go. Um, yeah. It's very of, quick. Very quick, quick access. Yes, quick access. Uh, but only to the other person. Right, it's difficult if you're trying to get it to yourself. Exactly. So if you're by yourself. So if you're a one man crew at that time. You'd have to take the whole bag off correct. and then to get so, your stuff. And then but, come and, and in the pros and cons. Exactly. Okay, so going into ours. Ours is the Eddie Bauer uh, First Adventure bag um ours came from target uh, one of our friends got it for us off our registry um and mine is the over the shoulder man purse style which also has its pros and cons um it's nice to be able to have it here and i can get to you what i need to stuff. i am ready to go with what i need but mm -hmm. then also if i am doing baby things here and that just Slides keeps wanting off. to slide down and yep. it gets uncomfortable and i can do that all day long um so yeah, there's again always has the pros and cons. But Another, it does look a lot bigger than it, this. it has a lot of space. And mm -hmm. I don't know if I can say this enough. Eleven pockets. Eleven pockets. There's eleven pockets. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is we're going to figure out what we, when me and Caleb carry in the uh, baby bag, paper bag. Um, what is our our. Our daily care, our everyday care. Our loadout. Our EDC. Yes, our everyday care. All right, so I'll start us off. I think every diaper bag is incomplete unless it has a burp cloth. A burp cloth. I would assume that I can find one of those. I have found, oh, we have two burp cloths. So you can never have enough. <laughs> one for each shoulder in case I have your baby and my baby at the same time. And then Don't I wield it, if you will. Put them up here and just. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pat them like this. <laughs> They're homemade from oh, homemade. Uh, my grandmother Crane. Uh, shout out, Grandma, if you are YouTubing nowadays. <laughs> Thank you for watching and subscribe below if you would like my to. My grandma is not YouTubing. All right, so there that covers the burp cost. Next thing that is a must, and I'm gonna say this is probably the most must, but it's not really a must if it's just you. Mm -hmm. It's with your partner. And we call it, let's see if I can, oh, here it is. It's the bambooby. Ooh, the bambooby. It is the cover up for breastfeeding out in public. And I'm gonna actually put this on for you. I don't know why I'm she not feels like she's gonna needs put to it on. Dress up in a turban, but it works all the same. Does she actually wear it like that? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Okay. I'm assuming you have one of those in there as I well. I have one as well as well. I'm not gonna put it on because my wife currently needs it. So do you need this, babe? It is. Yep. That's teamwork. I got what are we looking for here? A ton of diapers. Diapers. Oh, yes. Diapers. I know where those are, guys. If you think you have enough diapers, diapers, diapers pack five more. Diapers. Because you don't know how long you're going to be out, but you might need a lot of them. So always, always pack a diapers. lot of diapers in there. And uh, <laughs> my next thing, I'm not sure if you have one of these, but it is a portable changing pad. Ooh, I got something kind of like With that. the diaper bag, uh, another very big advantage of that because not everywhere you go has a place in the men's room or even the women's room for changing a baby. And sometimes floor is the best scenario. Now yours is really nice and permanent where I have disposable ones, which lighter Always and you good. just throw them away right afterwards. You just throw them away in case you get them covered in uh, poo. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Keeping on the changing topic, baby wipes. 
always carry at least one pack, if not another one pack on the side, so it's a little bit easier to access, and one pack in here. Another pro of my bag, mm. the diaper wipe container. Ooh. Comes installed in its own little pouch, and you can even unzip it here if you really wanted to and remove it. That's nice. For easy for access. Say, do we use this this much? I just take it out. And that's, and that's, I like this. Just, boop. Oh. And then I got my wipes in there. Boom. And close it up done. when I'm done. It's so handy. It's a handy, handy power. Very handy. Okay, so going with the insulated pockets, you want to make sure if you're out alone, the baby, you want to make sure that baby needs to eat. You got the milk. Got the milk. This is just what my wife supplied me for. She usually always has some, like, on hand in case. She can't breastfeed, or I need to go somewhere alone, or someone's babysitting our daughter. Gotcha. So we always have some on hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the next <laughs> thing that we have. The pacifier. The pacifier. Which yours might be in use right now. No, I have two. Nope. Mom is in use right now. Mom. <laughs> pacifier, this is a wub and nub. It's a pacifier. Could you say that again? Wub a nub. And how do you spell that? No, no cheating. <laughs> Spelling test, w Michael. W-U-B-A-N-U-B-B. -B. Wub two w Bs. Two Bs. And I was close to the And one way. B at the end. I got a B at the end. No, yeah, but you said two Bs at the end. Uh, it's okay. Wub That's okay. I had, I had the correct number of Bs then. You did have the right amount of letters, just in the wrong placement, but that happens to the best of us. So at least you did find the passage. Yeah, that's always a good to yes. know where it is. Always needed in every diaper bag is extra clothes. We have a double whammy on this one. We have butt cream. Ooh, I got butt cream. Desitin, as well as baby powder. You can never be too prepared. You don't want your baby to get raw. No, exactly. Keep them well lubricated. Boom. Got it at all times. I, got, I don't know if you have one of these, but one of these. The sucky suck? Suck the boogers out. I call that the sucky suck. We have actually not had to use that at all yet. I don't think they call this the sucky suck. Um, um, almost that's, positive. That's my name for them, and it, it covers the topic. You know the other thing they use for this is like the A nose tube? Frida. We have that. The thing you... <sighs> Haven't had to use it. Are don't you know go? if I could. Oh my god, I want... I want a video of your first time the, using the it. The use of the nose, Frida. I, like, know. I know that it doesn't go into your mouth, and obviously it stops. Like That's ridiculous to think that it doesn't. But just the first time has to You're be... You're going to be scared. It's like yeah. siphoning out gas. Exactly. I've never had a siphon out gas. Okay, so there was one thing you had that I didn't. Here's one thing that I have that you probably don't. Tissues. You never know when you're going to have an issue. Well, I don't have... Dang it, you stole my joke. <laughs> I was going to take it a little for you, though. Full. Nail care products. Because their nails get super sharp. They do. Next thing that we have. What's up? A, a lot of people that have dogs will know what these are. Portable poo bags. Oh. For to put your diapers in and then tie them up. You know. That's not a bad idea. Keep the trash cans wherever you're at smelling fresh. Smart dad hack. Uh, I th did this come in the bag as well? No. My love? No, it did not. It came separately. Is that um, made for diapers or it is, is it made for it's, just dog poop? It is made for diapers. It's oh, actually Arm & Hammer brand as well. Now this is like a little toy, like slash blanket kind of thing. Uh, we usually have a blanket on her when she's in the car seat, but always nice to have. But this is just a cute little thing, just little toys that we kind of have. And we also have a turtle. Now she does not really like, oh, I'm gonna play with this turtle, but if you like put it in front of her head, like, she watches it, she moves it, yeah. So Babies are very alert. Mm -hmm. um, Any other toys in there? Game Boy? No, that's not. Is that your PS4 in there? I think it'll fit if you really tried. Let's see. What else do I have in these 11 pockets? I know that there's one more. Okay. I know you don't have this. Okay. Because you have a girl and I have a boy. But boys, when you change your diaper, the hose starts going. So you gotta have a pee cloth. Oh. Cover up that wiener if you don't want to get sprayed. Emily found out the hard way he peed in her hair at one point. First night at home, he actually peed in his own mouth. Oh, he's accurate. Talent. He's accurate if he was trying to do that. She was trying to do that? First of all, smart kid. Actually, no. I mean, like, just the basic fact that he's like, I'm gonna aim in my mouth. Like, that's Aiming wise, yes, very good. I'm not boy. Pee in your own mouth, that's like, smart. Like baby lotion. Baby lotion. So, when, like, right away, the first couple of weeks, the baby, or baby Sloan, was, had really dry skin. And it was just like flaky. What flavor is that? Um, it's cold and flu season. You can never be too safe. And everybody sees a baby, they want to touch, touch, touch. Mm. 
Antibacterial Absolutely. gel. Absolutely, that's what I should put in here. You, you, you gotta sanitize mm -hmm. before this you. This is good. Love my child. Hey, oh. is that, can I? What? Oh, mm -hmm. buddy. Yeah. Please. Maybe it's in one of your 11 pockets. Oh, no, no. Oh. Oh. Dude, buggers. Yeah, oh, fine. Thank you. It was the way we bodies. combat the germ thing. We don't let anyone touch our baby. If you hold them all to yourself, that's always mm -hmm. like that's what I would do during the, the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, have you seen uh, like a beautiful woman like stiff arm an eighty year old? That's my wife. <laughs> that's it for my bag. Again, the Eddie Bauer first adventure bag. Link will be in the description below. And have you went through everything in yours? Yep. I okay. Did. So I guess the main thing. We can't stress enough. Do not leave home without your diaper bag. Obviously, so you can think of these as uh, any of you preppers out there. This is your bug out bag. Bug out bag. When crap hits a fan and you gotta go, grab this bag and go. But yeah, thanks for watching uh, this week's dad joke of the week. Um, I'm going to have to give credit uh, to my sister for this one who just got engaged. Congratulations, Kelby and Dylan. Um, but what do annoying peppers do? Hmm. No idea. Get jalapeno face. Oh, that's oh, a solid dad that's joke. That's a good dad Comment joke. Comment below right your there. dad jokes. Uh, um, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next week.